Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to Total War Pharaoh Dynasties playing as Babylon. Now, in the last episode, we officially laid siege to Ur. We're going to see if we can't wreck it. I don't know that we're going to get around to that because we do have a lot more pressing matters. Namely, we have an 18 stack of Akkadian farmers here and we have another 20 stack of Akkadian farmers. Some of these which do have experience, not a lot of them do. But regardless, we'll be okay. We're in the March stance over here. And I'm trying to think in terms of our outposts. That's right. It did get wrecked, so we have no reinforcements there. Nor am I investing it because they're in, uh, they could do all the stuff and things. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you want to support this video and the channel, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. And leave your comments in the comment section down below. You guys are rocking it. I am absolutely loving it. Let's see what we can't get into. Now, I do remember we stopped taxing. Oh, no, we did good there. Okay, cool. So we have six people here, which we still have the potential to get wrecked. If they pursue me, which I think they could, we're going to go ahead and march back here. And then we'll be done there. But anyways, like I said, I think we could handle anyone who throws anything at me. These guys have an immense amount of armor. Their melee attack, all that stuff is great. They also have bonus versus shields, which isn't, which you are not these guys. Me. These guys have little to no armor. They have some decent morale and stuff. And I think their charge bonus is good. Uh, let's see. They also have bonus versus shields, but uh, charge bonus damage split between base and bonus damage. They have armor piercing melee damage of five. But the thing is, like these boyos really not see my they have an amazing armor just absolutely amazing we'll block all missile fire that's fine a huge amount of morale their melee attack is massive and they have a huge amount of armor piercing suffer lower penalties from rain and storm bigger penalties from sand and mud and they can hide in the forest so i think we could take them on just a manner of time over here in ur though so it's a bit of a different fight. story we are uh, waging war here if we were to automatically resolve it'd be a bad news bear situation but what we also need to do, uh, I am like, I'm hemorrhaging bronze. So let's go into here. We need someone who just has so much bronze that uh, it really just doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter. We just need someone. I understand. Like, I appreciate it. Uh, what what will you do here? How much for 100? Okay, that really sucks. How much wood can I give? I can give 100. Oh, okay. Wow, you'll really take that? You are in a little bit of a desperate situation for wood, eh? Let's do 100 here and see if that works. I don't have much stone. There you go. How about for 10 turns? Is that something you can do? 12, that's going to be 120. I'll do that for 180. Because that still just <laughs> barely puts us in the negative. But it should be enough to kind of con uh, kind of uh, satiate the wound, as it were. We got that happen. Yep, that's all well and good. Nothing else we can really do. Yeah, we can't do that. Lots of events, but that's it. All right, I think there's nothing else we can do. Let's end the turn. All right, so this is what we wanted to have happen. Um, unfortunately, they do have a unit of cavalry, of horsemen. But what we want is we want to have these guys come out. We want this garrison to come out because we do have enough range, I think, where we could damage them. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen. Thank you, Total War AI, for doing what you always do. Uh, and then we are going to fight this on the battle map. All right, so we have reinforcements to our front. There are reinforcements to the side, and I don't know who is there. Now, admittedly, they are attacking me, and we are in a really good position to just pull up and really start wrecking them in that area. So I think that's what we're going to do. We are going to get all of our ranged boyos. Uh, we need to split them up. There we go. Let's get our farmers to chill there we do have a unit of acadian warriors which is going to really help we'll figure all these guys out once they get around to it general and then our chariots uh okay there we go all right we're well and good i don't know who's coming in from over here it certainly isn't the city garrison and we need the city garrison to be the ones that uh that come and do that so let's go ahead and hide some people into these areas. We could play off of the different, uh, I guess they're technically islands. Yeah, yeah. Just like mud islands. 
We really need to be able to see people. So let's go ahead and speed things up. There we go. Okay, cool. So these are, let's see, a medium chariot. Oh, interesting. Interesting. We may actually tank these boyos. We may actually end up uh, wrecking these guys. Medium chariots. That's wild. That must be a decently good ranking general as well. Yeah, they'll destroy us. Uh, but some spears will be really good for that. So we may force that over there. What do we have over here? Two-handed axe infantry, which I think will be totally fine. And then what do we have over here? Here are the Acadian warriors. Awesome. Okay, so what we need to do are both of my boyos over here. Both of them are dead, dammit. We'll put our best foot forward and see if we can't hold the line with them. But we really need those guys to be taken out. And if we can draw these guys in, oh man, can we draw the chariots into the mud area? Please and thank you. Fight me, you cowards. They are ranged, so odds of them actually taking us out, or uh, taking us, taking them out with spears is uh, little to none, but we can wreck them. And that's the bigger point right now. And these are, oh no, those are Acadian farmers. I don't want to waste ammo on them. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, take them on. Oh, come on, capture them. Please. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. They are just going to get wrecked. Brilliant. He's already routing. Fantastic news. We need to make sure we don't wreck the Acadian farmers. That's not who we are here for. That's fine. Nope. We're fine there. This is the best place for us because I don't know. They do actually do have archers. So we need to kind of be ready for that. I just don't know where they are at this moment. That was a good first little hit, though. And then we're going to go ahead and start prepping for the next wave. Get them kind of sucked into here, I think, would probably be the best solution. Unfortunately, this general did not die. He's only retreated. But that's fine. So now we have Acadian farmers. We have the Acadian horsemen as well, which I do believe our spears should counter, which is going to be group six. I mean, regardless, they can't be in an upfront charge. These are definitely meant to tank or to, uh, to pester the line, not do anything else. However, what we could do is we could roll these boyos up. Let's get our first line of ranged units and work on those horsemen. What do we have here? We have the other general, more Acadian farmers, more Acadian farmers. Okay, they're the ranged units that we need. Keep our chariots kind of in the back burner inside the forests. Get these guys across the pond. Acadian farmers are coming back. What I really, really need, there we go. The Acadian Axemen is what we're after. The This group right here, this is what we want to hit with the ranged units the most. That's going to kind of guarantee our victory. What does the storm do? Accuracy, range, morale, debuff. It does kind of look like we're fighting on this ground. So we may have to start bringing our boyos up. And we may have to uh, get these guys to start being a little bit more tanky oh man they see us here what if i disappeared or what if i went over here instead let's take those guys out take the horsemen out please or take the acadian archers out i'm kind of thinking the horsemen so we can kind of tank them there are those acadian warriors man we have so many people that we just need to kill all at once basically let's get our guys over here why are y'all no why are y'all being weird stop being weird all right, this is how it has to be. Let's go ahead and push. We got to split our forces up a little bit. Be up there in the front. Take on those horsemen. And then we're going to make you stay there. Let's get those Acadian warriors. Let's get on the... Uh, da, 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 and the Acadian axemen. Those horsemen are being decimated, which is awesome to see. Let's push. And then we're going to push these guys in the backside. And really push on that. Our boyos can come in over here. We need to get one of those guys there. Sweet. Let's push into the front. We need to do all the Lord's work immediately. Push these guys in the back. They are all just camping right there, basically. Now, unfortunately, there is a whole bunch of mud, which is going to cause some problems. But there's not much we can do about it. Push into there. Let's get our boyos. And then we can get our axemen in there. Great. This is working perfectly. Their archers are caught in the back line as well. 
This is great. This is like the ambush that we really, really needed. We need to get our axemen over there. Move, boyos. Uh, let's help our men over on that front. Get those Acadian axemen. I am not even joking. Like, just ruin their day, please. And then start moving around there. We got those guys. They aren't doing anything. Oh, hit those guys in the back. That's what I meant to do. Uh, actually, go hit those archers. That would be great. Yep, my front line's crumbling, which is what we thought would happen. Because, again, they're just... I mean, they're tanking everything here. Sweet. This is where we move. We add another line of defense there. We hit those archers. They're being wrecked, but again, it's the uh, Akkadian dudes that are just causing so much. Those elite warriors are just decimating. Let's push into there. Sweet. Okay, we can focus once again on these guys. Again, this is what has to happen. If we don't get these guys, we're screwed. And then we can go ahead and work on these Akkadian farmers. All right, they're routed for good. We don't need to worry about them. Let's start tanking everyone else. Let's start getting on these archers. Since the other ones are in combat. Let's get those Acadian archers since they're in combat. It's a little messy up front. Let's go ahead and move back. Two, come on, move back. Sweet. Okay, I just need to make sure that those guys don't end up coming back to life. Go hit those boyos. Nice. Brilliant. They're still not fully routed. Then we need to get these guys back into battle. We're going to let them rest up. Because these other ones are going to be absolutely just wrecked in terms of, uh, hopefully, stamina. And then the other hope is that we can then turn that to our advantage. Sweet. We're routing those Axemen. That's huge. That is huge. Let's go ahead and just keep at them, boys. And then over here is just the big mass melee. Some horsemen sprinkled in. Nope, just, just hang out here. Same with you two guys. We just need to rest up. Sweet. Those guys are routing. Let's go ahead and take them on. We really need to absolutely decimate those high rank units. And then we can hit these guys in the back. It looks like they lost a general. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Their other general is faltering. Admittedly, we're losing some of our best warriors, but I think it kind of just... It's an unfortunate result of what's going on. They're tired. They're exhausted. Let's go ahead and hit them in the back. That should provide a pretty good morale debuff. There we go. One of their other generals is routing. Keeping these guys in the reserve is the best thing right now. Let's hit uh, Abil Alisu. He's kind of in the middle here. And then our boils are doing great work. Just kind of uh, taking up this back line. Sweet. They've all routed. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and pull back. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. That's freaking brilliant. Yeah, we just need them gone. We need them gone, please, and thank you. All right, we're going to wrap this up in the middle of a storm, and uh, that's oof, that was that was crucial. That was absolutely crucial. Love to see it. I will see you guys on the battle map, campaign map. You know what I mean. All right, that was a fantastic victory. So we did lose quite a few troops. I mean, we lost about a 1,000 of them, but we did end up capturing a lot more, so we're definitely going to roll the replenishment. Yeah, I think we definitely roll replenishment. All right, now your schemes are not as well guarded as your allies would have you believe, but that's not to say they are non-commendable. If you're willing to forsake them so we can collaborate more on harmonious goals, uh, cancel your plot, give me 100 gold, lose 60 regard with the king of Hanigalbut. Hanigalbut, we'll refuse, no. All right, so we are under siege. Unfortunately, we can't do much at this time. And there's no special recruitment that I can do either. Okay, we got to wrap this up very quickly. So basically, we can go here. Let's go ahead and fight this battle because we do have enough to do it. All right, drive. The forecast is going to be a storm. No big deal. This is your very classical setup of total war battles. Sweet. Okay, we only have two, but that's okay. Like, I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Let's make sure our best warriors, our are the ones who are doing it. So we're going to drop that siege equipment. We're going to put our Acadian warriors there. And then we're going to have them go that front. And then our next best, probably going to be our armored uh, Salihu warriors, which is fine. That's not a problem at all. Let's go over to 
this part. I honestly have not done one of these in so long, so you're going to have to see a very disgusting battle ensue. And I apologize in advance. It is what it is. Get those boyos together. There we go. Lastly, get these boyos together. Start the battle. Go ahead and come on over to there. They just don't have enough warriors. Admittedly, I probably should have taken over on that gate so I could have brought warriors in. But it is what it is. Let's get our Acadian farmers as tanks. We're going to get those guys there. We're going to throw those men there. And then I suppose I could get my levees to actually start battering down the gates. Oh, crap. There's actual towers. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that was a thing. That's fine. We're going to use them. I don't think they can do much. But also, they're just not going to be able to handle the onslaught that we're throwing at them. Let's throw those Acadian warriors a little loop. Our men are at the gates. Take it down, boys. Don't know much what you can do, but regardless, take it down. And we're working on those Acadian warriors hardcore. We're wearing down their armor. Yes, yeah, slowly but surely. Let's move over there. <laughs> Just kind of a last second rework. Just kidding. I'm going to go right here. And then our men are on the walls. Sweet. All right. Classic siege. Probably going to make the classic siege mistakes as well. All right. Get up on the walls. Sweet. I love how these siege towers look as well. I love it. All right. So they are retreating, which is great for us. We need to capture towers. Sweet. Towers have been captured. Yeah, we need to get our boyos in pretty darn quick. And then it's time to get our other boyos in too. Let's go ahead and get men on the walls. We're at 45% on the gates. And then let's come in over here. I think it would probably be a better solution to our time. We're not being hit from the inside. And these guys are definitely taking some hits for us, which I appreciate. And it doesn't look like the general is up on top either. Let's go ahead and take out the Acadian farmers. Go ahead and work on those boyos. Bring those men over here. Take on the Acadian warriors. And then we need to get more men on the walls, I think. 68%. All right, we got some wall combat coming on. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. Brilliant. They're engaged. And then we need, we need people on the walls. What are the gates at? The gates are at 81%. We should be good there. I don't think those Acadian Axemen are going to last long. I'm really surprised that the Acadian Farmers have already lasted so long. And we do have three Generals over there, by the way. So that's something we need to be mindful of. We just need guys to come capture this so they can stop hitting us. I get it. We, we've, been, we've been decimated here. And that's going to hurt a whole heckin' lot. But if we can get Warriors in here, we'll be good. There we go. The top of the walls are falling. If we can take out those main warriors, we're in a really, really good spot. Those are the, all of the archers are just chilling there, which is great to see. Let's go ahead and get one. We're going to flood the gates. If that even actually works. And then uh, we, I think we have a majority of the troops on the gate. So it should be a point where they let us, we should be able to start taking the gates. That's my deal. Start taking those guys on. Taking more and more. We can get those done. That'd be great. We are succeeding on the walls. We've been attacked in the rear, which is never good. The rear always sucks. There we go. But we are starting to take this dude again. He did survive, unfortunately, I think. Or they have at least hired one in the interim. Losing decisively. But how decisively is actually decisive? Regardless, the gates are ours now, which is awesome. And we can go ahead and start capturing this, these other gates too. And then if we were to go here... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I think by the time these guys all route, it's just going to be the end. Oils, go ahead and move in. The general's already dead here, so they're probably going to start routing pretty darn soon. But we can totally work on getting these guys maybe in. I don't know. Go take the palace. That's going to be a big one. And then if we can get some units to kind of jet out. Sweet. Okay, those guys are routing. 
this is going to be a hefty battle. Like, we've lost a lot of troops, all things considered. But those are uh, sieges in a nutshell. Go ahead and come back behind here. We're going to go and start pushing units through. Yeah, let's go ahead and start pushing units in. Take out those Acadian horsemen. If we can take on those and get some morale debuffs, we're going to be in a really good spot. Morale should just be tanking. Morale bonus due to points. Okay, that's good to know. The walls are pretty much clear. Everyone's not happy right now. Sweet. Freaking brilliant. In the battle right now. All right, so we did lose a good handful. But we now have Ur, and we are definitely going to occupy just straight up. I don't want to loot and occupy. That's not going to be good for us. I will we have a sacred land occupied. Heck yes, that's done. great to see. And we were able to fulfill that ambition. We probably had only one turn left. Uh, yeah, no, that's great. What does that do exactly? Four foundations of the Bronze Age were geographic origins. They're sacred lands. So that should affect legitimacy. Am I correct? All right. Well, regardless, we have that going for us. And, that is who and now we need Borsippa. But more than that, we need... <laughs> oh, I just don't know how we're going to be able to do this. You shall not they do, I think, me. just have a 20 stack. So that is very, no very unfortunate for us. We could start booking it. Ur does have some units that I'm sure we could recruit. My time is now. Acadian Militia Spearman. Okay, that's nice. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to do anything with Let that. We speech. can't. We do have the White Temple of Anu, which gives us legitimacy. We have Ur Oh no, that's over here. In Ur, we have the Great Ziggurat of Ur, which I think would probably give us more of a bonus than it does, but that's okay. We also have our one uh, Mesopotamian fort over here. I think they're going to have to siege a lot longer than we... than I think they, they will. So what we're going to end up I needing agree. to do is I think Ur is just going to need to... I'm just wondering if we don't save ourselves a little bit of headache here. Let's go ahead and fulfill our rank, though. Upkeep minus 10. Battle loot, melee defense, and replenishment. What happens when we get into here? A plus 1%. I don't think I really want to do that. And now, as you can see, we can either get Herbalist or we can get Defense Strategist, which means movement on land for enemy armies and siege holdout time. We're going to go Replenishment over here for his next title. That's the best thing for us, which means we should get almost a full Replenishment right off the bat. That's really good. We have our Court Actions. I am we have a 51% chance. We're not going to worry about Court Actions at the moment. We do have other events and reminders. We have a Settlement Upgrade and Ur available to us. Yeah, that's probably a wise move. And then we do have an Outpost available in Ur. Production of all resources increases by 10%. We could build a Mesopotamian monument. See, this is kind of the deal that I wanted to do it this way. Well, ooh, no, we definitely need the happiness bonus. But that's only for this turn, right? Okay, so we'll be in the positive. Admittedly, military presence is a big one. Let's go ahead and do the happiness model. All right, so our outpost was sacked. This is what we expect to happen. I'm not surprised in the least. What we need to do... Oh, that takes two turns. Oh, we can go all the way up here. Are you serious? Can I do that without it? No, I can't, but I can travel by river. Can I not go into my own city? That's the real question. So there's this guy, which I'll admit, like it's a little bit scary that we're just leaving this unoccupied. But the garrison strength, I think, is still going to be really, really good in Ur. Only are only going to have Acadian farmers. Can I not get into my own settlement? So if I were to do this... Okay, nope. We're going to decline the attack. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do either. I want to recruit. Can I still not recruit? Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's a little frustrating. But it's not like I, I, I understand why it is the way it is. My deal is that... We can hold out for nine turns. I don't know how many turns they're going to give me. But I can get some Militia Spearmen, or I can get some 
archers. We're going to get some Akkadian archers. I think that's the best move we could possibly make. Two pending actions. Yep, Uruk has been wrecked. You want me? You bring Part of me wonders perhaps? if I don't take out, or at least uh, a brief... That's 10 turns that I would have Ur just... Mm, I can't do that. We got to risk it for the biscuit here. Uh, we just got to risk it. What do we want, though? Nothing. We need the best strength. We don't want those I'll guys. Run. Yes. Honey Gullibut, let's get a non-aggression right pack. IDS. They really don't like me, do they? But we're neutral, so it's not like it's that bad. Offer diplomatic marriage. I have a daughter. And you have a son. And then, what if I gave you... You really wouldn't budge that much. Are you serious? Well, that's rude. Fine. Screw you. I didn't like you anyways. I don't think we can make this work either. Although I wish I could. No, that's just not worth it. That's fine. That's fine. I think we are going to have to do this. I want to get as much as I can, though. A barter agreement. I want your gold. 35 gold for 10 turn. 18 gold for 10 turns. I can do that. A single bronze. We're going to wait a turn. That may bite me in the butt, but I do think I can take on this army. Even with, like, these guys right here. Like, even the garrison strength in Uruk is going to be good. Because we get those reinforcements. So, Borsippa, you're not going to be... I guess that's not me. Uh, but we do have... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. We're going to get those reinforcements. And I think between those two, we could probably do some dirty work. About as much. We're risking it here. We're really risking it. We're not going to worry about local deities. We just simply have these guys, which is fine with me for now. Freaking brilliant. Okay, so we scared the holy crap out of them. All right, a boy has come of age. Adad Shudmadar Usur has come of age and is ready to be recruited. Awesome. We do have multiple raids. We understand that. We definitely have the advantage here. Yep, you can go ahead and run if you want. But we are going to bring in our boyos from the east. We're going to hit you in the west. Let's fight it. Oof, this is hard. But again, what I like doing is I stick with the weather conditions. It sucks, but that's all right. That's going to hurt us more than it actually hurts them. And then we do have reinforcements across the river there. All right, so we do still have to be mindful. This isn't going to be a guaranteed victory. However, all of our troops are uh, at least veterans, whereas theirs are not. So that gives us a significant advantage. All of these boils can also be hidden, which is super fantastic. We're going to go ahead and leave these guys out in the open. They're going to have a hard enough day as it is. And then I kind of think we can just sort of tank these guys for the most part. And then we have these guys, which we're going to try and utilize the best that we can. Sweet. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I'm so happy right now. Admittedly, like, we have to chuck it away. Like, we got to go. We got to move, move, move. But I hired three archers. Did I not hire three archers? That's okay. There we go. Flip it. Oh, no, we did hire three archers. It's the, uh, the regional dudes. Right? I think so. All right. Yep, that's what it is. All right, cool. Wow, they're already charging us. Joke's on you, punk suckers. Yeah, we just kind of need to hold the line, I think. I think we'll be able to really tank them. There's a lot of troops here. I'm not going to lie. But let's go ahead and get this guy suckered in. If we can just uh, do some good damage, I guess that's all we really need to do here. All right, they're both losing decisively. I don't enjoy that. Those guys got to move quickly. And I know that we're going to, like, tank the the front line here. I'm a little concerned that our right flank is going to die. Uh, they're just going to falter. Let's go ahead and push. Let's go ahead and push. Here we go. Let's get on that front line. Take those guys out. We're going to work on taking those boyos out. 
and we have our the enemy general here we're gonna go ahead and get into melee mode actually what do we need to do let's push him here push up let's go ahead and get our general into the mix yeah that's what i thought our right flank was gonna falter a little bit but those are just acadian farmers so i'm not uber uber concerned there we go oh i missed that charge but that is exactly what needed to happen and the thing is, too, these guys die automatically. They retreated once. And so if they retreated, since uh, they retreated once already, they don't get a second chance at life. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go and move our boyos over to this flank. Because these guys can't hold them. We're going to pull out here. We're going to push our spearmen into the front. And we need you guys to focus your fire on those guys so our flank does not continue to get overwhelmed these guys are moving as fast as they can no they're not yeah we just need them moving there we go i need you guys to pull back please and thank you there we go now that those guys are pulled out, we're going to try and get them to not overwhelm our flanks. We're having a hard time. Man, they are just like... It's a diss track central over here. Let's go ahead and, and flush these guys. If we could get them to route, hopefully they don't see us. You won't see me coming. Oh my word, look at that. Wheat. That was great, but it didn't have the effect I wanted it to. Get out of there, boyos. Go get those men. Hit them in the back. That's going to be the best thing we can have happen. Seven. Yeah, I need the chariots to back out. I need seven to first hit these guys. I need nine to just come in here and just start decimating. Very nice. Yep, we're losing some people. It's okay, though. The general should start routing any second. They're gone. There we are. Seven should start hitting these guys right now. Maybe, maybe not. Just kidding? Like, what's going on here? Oh, son of a biscuit. I was not paying attention. I was like, what is going on here? Yeah, those guys are definitely going to route. And then we have the guys coming back into the battle. But the general is routing already, so that's good for us. Like, daggummit, I totally wasn't paying attention. Yep, they've routed, understandably. But now all these guys have routed, and... Victory. There we go. They are dead completely. I'm going to go ahead and actually get useless warriors. We're going to get some food. I have no quarrel with you. Go. Sweet. They call me King of Babylon, and that is who I am. And then we're going to go back into... Up at all times. Oh, that's fine. That's totally... I think we need to get our Some other general into we will settlement there. We can go ahead and level him up, though. Let's go ahead and work on the battle loot and... Uh, let's go with movement. I think you're going to be a little more of a force in that area. And now we have plus three, which is great. Not surprising. We can... Oh, man, we've really got to repair all this stuff. That's going to be a pretty penny and a half. Oh, and there is that guy right there. I totally forgot about him. So they have two 11 stacks, which is fine. They have a 20 stack here. And then this is actually a pretty good unit uh, that we would have to contend with. But that's not a problem at all. I like. I think we're perfectly fine where we are. It is spring. Unfortunately, we are we're hemorrhaging a little bit of uh, stuff there. It's not the end of the world, but we would be good to tackle it sooner rather than later. We have four pinning actions, of course. We have outpost constructions, and we have an unassigned skill. Oh, yes, for this boyo. Let's go ahead and work on that, which this is a, just a smidge. Not too shabby. Let's end the turn and see where we land. All right, the gods have their blessing. The land and the people thriving in these provinces. Growth is increased. Okay, we need a new ambition. Uh, make sure the following factions are destroyed or confederated. We basically just need to do that. That's a that's what we need to do. Uh, yeah, that's what we need to do. We're going to work on that anyways. So that's all well and good in the neighborhood. They have retreated back into their hole right where they belong. 
I can go here. I think I have to land. Let's see, Borsippa, that'd be fine. Are these guys completely... They are not completely up and running. So we're going to chill here for a turn. We need to... What did we say we wanted here? Is this another religious outpost? I think it was. We'll go ahead and do a religious outpost here. And then we'll be. chill here for a turn. Totally good with that. The can we afford power. more units is the real question. I don't know that we really can at this time. I want to make sure that we... We're going to hire two of them. I think we need to. And then... Uh, I don't really need... No, we'll go ahead and do that. That's fine. We have our court actions. 500 to see that? No, that's not worth it whatsoever. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and end things here. It's actually pretty darn well. These are just Enough Acadian farmers, so I know we can tackle those guys. Ur is completely ours, thankfully. Admittedly, they're not too happy themselves, but they will recover. Uh, we'll be okay. It will be all be good. And then in terms of this, our military presence it would still make us in the positive overall. So we will slowly and uh, surely be able to work on them there. We're going to go after Ur. We're going to go after their main settlement. We can do this. We know we can. That's the uptick we needed. And then, of course, the Chingu, uh, they just got wrecked. I don't think it's Qingnu. I don't think, again, we're too far eastern to, to be the Chi sound. But regardless, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know what to do. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave those comments in the comment section below. We're rocking and rolling it. Thanks for watching. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.